Ooh, good morning, you guys. Oh, it's so nice outside. Yes. How are you all doing? Hopefully you can see me pretty well. I know I have my raspy morning voice going on, but I'm pretty excited for today's full day of eating. So I've been pretty much, so I've been inspired by seeing all these videos, people doing like themed full days of eating. They're like, oh, my smoothest, um, like the purple diet and stuff like that. Um, but the purple foods diet, the red foods diet and everything they eat is like purple foods. So I know back in November, I did a pumpkin spice diet where everything I ate was pumpkin spice themed. And I thought it'd be fun to do kind of semi cheat day-ish because it's like I'm eating almost semi unhealthy. Um, we'll be doing a, oh, I don't want my neighbor be like, what the heck? Um, we're gonna do pumpkin spice, or can I not think straight? We're doing a birthday cake, like funfetti birthday cake, everything. So we're gonna start with breakfast. And it's really hot, so I got my fan on. So let's go down there so I can get coffee and get rid of this raspy voice. All right, so starting off with breakfast, we're gonna make pancakes. Now, I'm using the Lions Pack. This is their Funfetti Cupcake flavor, which is pretty much birthday cake confetti, you know what I mean. So to go along with the whole theme of today's video, what? I, but the thing is one serving makes either three small pancakes or I use my waffle maker and maybe only two waffles. So to expand it, I add an, a little bit of extra um, vanilla protein powder and a medium sized zucchini. Now it sounds crazy, but like I shred it. Yeah, shred it off. I shred the zucchini and then I mix it all together and it makes really good pancakes. So uh, I'll show you the after part of once I make it all. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and coffee. Always need coffee. So I also realized I don't have birthday cake coffee and this is a birthday cake theme kind of thing. So I'm gonna create my own birthday cake flavored creamer. Yes. Have the pancakes. I promise it tastes amazing. My coffee. So, mm -hmm. the secret to making birthday cake creamer is adding vanilla extract and butter extract. Yes. Um, and these, oh my gosh, they smell so good. Put some water worms. But yes, I'm gonna try eating this quickly because I'm outside. In my backyard, it's a beautiful day, summer, but it's also spider season, so I'm afraid there's gonna be a she lob coming after me if I stay out here too long, so we're gonna just eat this real quick. I should put a candle on top.
apple. Tastes like birthday cake. Mm, go. Nice and gooey. Okay, so that was so, so delicious. I promise you the zucchini hack is like one of the greatest things. Um, they obviously come out like really soft and they're not as like firm where you can just like pick it up easily and eat it. Um, but it just helps with the volume and it's just so, oh my gosh, the birthday cake flavor is so good. But yes, I need to go do some studying, GMAT studying, and then I will catch you guys with the next snack before the gym later. Yeah. Oh shoot, I see a spider. Okay, um, yeah, let's go. So I'm taking a little break from doing the GMAT uh, practice test and I thought I would make a snack. I was thinking at first of making birthday cake toast, but I was like, oh, it's kind of easy. Why don't I make a birthday cake quesadilla? Now there's not really cheese involved, but what we got, here it is. I don't know if you can see it, but in it, I've got a gluten-free tortilla. This is the powdered peanut spread birthday cake batter from Lion's Pack. Over here, we've got some birthday cake cookie dough, edible cookie dough, and birthday cake peanut butter spread on top of it. So I just have it this is the powdered peanut butter and the regular peanut spread. It is so good. So I'm gonna try spreading it. Cause then I can fold it in half. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what it looked like. You can see all the sprinkles and everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oops, some of it's kind of gone hard. But yeah, there, we got a quesadilla with some uh, cookie dough inside. Mm. Mm hmm Oh my gosh. This is so good. Like, look. Oh, feel the sprinkles. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm hmm Mmm. So good. Alright, I'm gonna eat this and continue the test. All right guys, so I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym. I got an upper body day, so oh, it's so hot out there. Luckily, they have AC at the gym. Um, plus, I left my headphones there, so I gotta pick them up. But holy crap, today is supposed to be hotter than yesterday. Like, it's so hot, I swore I saw two hobbits run by asking me where, which way is Mordor. Like, you can destroy a ring in this heat. So, ugh. Which I have right here. So, uh, <laughs> nobody be taking my ring. All right, guys. Um, yeah, see you guys in the gym for push. I mean, I may not film like the entire workout. We'll just see how like my progression is with my upper body strength since it's a heavy lifting day. Uh, plus, I think I probably filmed this workout anyways. So, yeah, go check out one of my other heavy lifting days. Yeah.
So I am back from the gym. So it's time to eat my birthday cake still. So I'm gonna make something special. And then you guys will see what I make. Yes. Oh, and I'll probably like snack on some vegetables. I'm not gonna just like, that's not, not a birthday cake thing, but I, I feel like I need some greens in my diet. Well, it is a full day of eating. I'm just eating some shishito peppers. Maybe I'll just put sprinkles on them and some whipped cream. Happy birthday. Ooh, spicy! Ugh. You guys don't know how excited I am for this. We are about to make such an epic birthday cake Sunday. So we got the Halo Top dairy free. I made donuts. I made some birthday cake donuts and then we got toppings. We got cocoa whips, bananas, and I tried to make like a frosting for these, but it came out really weird, and so I'm gonna just put that on top of the ice cream. So let's assemble all of, well, first of all, I wanna try one of these donuts. I've never made one before, so. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so good. The protein birthday cake donuts that I like, made my own recipe for it and it's so so good mm. okay let's assemble this though because we all know you guys want to see that balloon let me get it closer Darling, you sent me. I know you sent me. Darling, you sent me. I know you sent me. Darling, you sent me. Darling, you sent me. How amazing does this look oh my gosh you guys I cannot wait to dig into this Ooh, with some whipped cream mmm cool whip was like my favorite non-vegan thing mmm mm-hmm mmm Get some of the ice cream. Mm. Oh my gosh. You know the funny thing about everything I've eaten so far today? It all fits my macros. <gasps> mm hmm. I did plan this whole day out just so I can do this for you guys because. Now that I'm not as much in a cut and my coach is bringing back up my calories, I can't afford to have as big of cheat days. Whereas, if I was still in a really low deficit, it's good to have then like those refeed cheat days to help leptin levels, which leptin is that hormone that you know, it tells your body to like slow down your metabolism and stuff. And so when you're in a deficit, that's why people who crash diet or start to like die down, you'll notice you'll plateau. You'll get to a point where you're like, okay, why am I not losing weight? Drop calories, that's when you do a refeed. That's why um, it's so important like, like once a week and it increases more depending how deep the deficit is. Like when I was in a cutting phase, there was a point that I did get to where I had two refeed days. 
which is great in a way that you're like, oh yeah, I can eat way more carbs and stuff, but all the other days sucked, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These donuts are fire. I cannot believe I just made these. Mm. Yep. I, I try to take multiple recipes, do what I can. Mm. Donut. Judge me. Nah. Mm. I would have loved to do not a mousse brand of um, birthday cake ice cream because theirs has pieces of birthday cake in it. But it has more fat on like higher refeed days. Like my fat tends to be a little lower than normal. So, but my carbs are higher so I can have all the carbs. Oh, and trust me, this isn't my last meal. We're still eating more birthday cake. It's not my birthday. I should have done this for my birthday. But then again, on my birthday, I wanted to eat everything. Go check out that cheap video. Go check out my other ones. You want to see like all the things that I've e that eaten that, gosh, I would never really eat normally. So, I have yet to hand make donuts. And one thing I really wanna do, cause, cause they're, okay, up in LA there's a shop that's, gluten, they have gluten-free vegan donuts. But nowhere have I seen vegan cronuts. Cronuts are apparently the rage. They're croissant donuts. So, like this video and comment below. Cronuts or fried donuts should I make? for a cheat day like would you rather see me make like well I mean because there are recipe videos out there people make fried donuts but I'm thinking Corona so that would be cool but I mean you people choose and I'll try to make different types put vegan Nutella peanut butter everything mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Forgot about my Instagram and Snapchat peoples. All finished. That was the best dessert I have ever made for myself. This feels like such a cheat day. So good. All right, you guys, I need to clean up this mess and I will see you guys for the next birthday cake thing thing. So yeah, it's a pretty good diet, you know? Totally don't recommend it. I need more vegetables. Yeah. All right, sorry, there's sounds of fans going on because it's so hot today. Um, but it's already like almost nine o'clock and 
that Sunday bowl, whatever you want to call it, like kept me really full, but I still have macros left. So what are we gonna do? That's birthday cake is small enough. That'll fit my macros. Yes, it's also from the Lions Pack. I wish I was like sponsored by them. But this is their vanilla cake batter mug cake. And a serving is pretty small, so I have the carbs in my macros to add some zucchini and make it bigger and more voluminous. So we're gonna do that again, the zucchini hack. And top it off with some more cool. <laughs> so that's what it looks like with the zucchini, but it just smells like pure cake batter, funfetti, whatever. So I'm gonna wait for it to cool down a bit because I did cook it a little longer. And then I'll put some cool whip on top of it, some strawberry syrup, and eat it. Here we go. Cool whip. Nice serving. Oh, ooh. Hell yeah. Mm. And, oh, it fit the macros. Some semi sweet chocolate chip. Pickles. Mmm. Mmm. obsessed with the stuff. Heck yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go enjoy this and that'll be my last meal, sipping on BCAs. And I'll see you guys in just a bit. I just really quickly want to say, you guys need to try the zucchini hack for everything because I usually only do it like for oatmeal, but oh, the cake and like the pancakes in the morning. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's a nice texture too. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna continue eating this. Okay guys, I had to go and take a shower because since that mug cake was pretty hot, it like heated me up and it's already freaking hot in this house. Oh, it's like gone down to 80 degrees, but still, it's so warm. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this birthday cake diet cheat day, whatever heck you wanna call it. That'd be fun to do like a theme day, um, eating one kind of thing. So it was so delicious. I thought I was, I remember when I was planning this, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna get sick of sweet things. And for a second, I almost thought I would, was going to, but I was like, come on. <laughs> I don't got sweet tooth, I got sweet molars. Like, yeah, I like my sweets. So yes, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below what next cheat day food theme you want me to do so that I can like arrange a whole day around like a certain food or something. Um, whatever you think I should do. And we're almost to 1,000 subscribers. So definitely when we get to 1,000 subscribers, I will do a, maybe that'll be the next cheat day. <gasps> so yeah, click that subscribe button if you want to see another cheat day and comment below what theme you want it to be. Yeah, that'll be so fun. All right, I love you all. Have an awesome rest of your day. And yeah, stay groovy.